All right, just wanted to make a quick video. I got a couple of um, PGX books back, or books back from PGX. Um, I sent these books in to be um, pressed, except for one, and graded, um, signature verified, although I wasn't worried about the signature because I actually witnessed all the signatures myself. Um, this was more about if the books were, um, you know, ever sold or ever, um, if I ever decided to sell them or something like that, or. It's just something they were kind of like trophies, and I wanted to just frame them nicely in the, in the, um, in the in the casing. So, um, I got four books here. I'm gonna start off with the first one. This is right here. I'll set it up oh, like this. Here it is. It is Walking Dead number one hundred. This is the um, San Diego Comic Con previews version. This is a book I got for like. I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for it back in the day um, when it first came out. This is, of course, the first um, or the uh, death of Glenn and the first appearance of Negan. Um, signed here uh, by Stephen Oon. I hope I'm saying his name right. He was really nice. I met him at a Walker Stalker. Uh, the book came back at 9.4. I was real happy with that. Um, I took care of it. I thought it was in near mint condition, so I wasn't really surprised by the grade. Um, I did have this book pressed uh, just because I wanted it to look as nice as possible. Um, has white pages obviously uh, so it's just one of the ones I like I like the black and white and I thought it would look good with the silver signature there the next book I got I've had this book for a long time it is uh, Walking Dead number 100 it's the um, retailers variant so I don't know if anybody remembers um, there was one per store this was probably about 2015 or 16 can't remember but each comic store got one. I waited for the prices to drop and I got them. Um, so I have a couple different signatures on here. I got it signed by um, uh, Lenny James, the actor who plays Morgan, um, by Michael Rorker, who's um, Merle on the show, uh, Seth Gillum, who is Gabriel, and then the uh, governor, or David Morse, who's the uh, governor. I met all four of them and it was really cool to meet them and I had a good time. Uh, book also came back a 9.4, which is good. I mean, with these black and white, um, books it's hard to come back 9.8 because of the black i mean and especially with signatures the book's been handled touched by people and things like that so it's just kind of hard to get that um there's really not much significance of this one death of morton rose is not really that big of a deal in in the walking dead lore i just actually liked the book and it was a anniversary 150 and i liked the cover and i thought it was pretty cool um it's happy that came back in 9.4 uh, one of the books I bought, I went to a Comic-Con and actually met Tony Moore, and so I bought this book from him. Um, obviously, Walking Dead, another 150. It's a variant type. It's got that uh, homage to The Walking Dead number one, signed by Tony Moore right there. Um, I did not press this book, so it's a 9.6, and I didn't press it. I didn't think I had to press it. It's one of the ones I looked at and thought, well, it just looks so clean. I thought it would be a 9.6, and or 9.8, excuse me, and it just wasn't, so... Came back at 9.6. I'm not super mad. There's like a tiny little little scuff in the top. And that was there anyway. So I thought, oh, that's not going to, you know, that's not pressable. So, you know, I can't get that pressed out. So I think that's probably the only visible damage to the cover that you can see. But it's enough of a, of a little tuft or whatever you want to call it. That I mean, a 9.6 is, is fair. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, last... But not least, this book has absolutely no significance as far as a book itself. It is just a cover that I really liked. I've always liked it. I got it out of a dollar bin um, at a comic books uh, convention. And um, and I just went to the dollar bin and it was just a book I've always just liked to cover. And I got it. And at the time, I was walking around the convention and there was no line or a very short line for uh, the man himself this was back in 2016 it was signed it is signed by stan lee so i was actually able to meet stan lee and then at the same con it was signed by um john bertall was there as well so i had him sign it he was um at the time that they were filming or the punisher had just uh, come out on netflix uh, so i wanted to get i got both of them to sign the book um book was in a dollar bin so coming back in 9.0 is not really a surprise um i did have this press just because it was signed by stan lee so i wanted it to look as nice as it possibly could um there is absolutely as you can see there's no significance of this book it's just signed by stan lee and it's just um you know it's just a cover that i like and i just wanted it slabbed and it's just literally for me and it's the so i was able to meet stan lee it was an awesome experience and i was able to get a book signed by him so I'm pretty happy about that. 
Um, so that's it, just four of the books I got back from PGX. I sent them uh, sent them about two months ago. Took about you know maybe seven weeks to get them back, so it wasn't too bad. Um, they all, all except one were pressed, and um, so I'll lay them back out again. Um, so again, I got the 9.0 Ar uh, Punisher Armory number one, which is n not significant. And then I have two uh, Walking Dead 150s. Uh, one is the homage to the number one, and then one is the uh, retailer's black and white version variant. Get that bad boy in here. So there's one of mine. And then another one is the Walking Dead 100 San Diego Comic Con variant. Just one of the ones I like a lot. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to share those PGX books I got back. And uh, have a great day. Keep collecting.